Hi guys and welcome back to another show on the Buffalo video, hope you've all been well and today on PCGO we are covering our MC Hammers deck, can't touch this and it is MC for Max Center Scorch, which is this guy and he has a basic version of the Center Scorch V that has Radiant Heat that can discard energy from my opponent's Pokemon which is very vital as you'll see in the upcoming matches as well as four, co four copies of Crushing Hammers just for some extra energy denial. It does also help you in the ADP game as well. Um, I feel like pretty much every deck needs some sort of energy denial now because of the fact that ADP is so good and the fact that this deck does have Radiating Heat as an attack option for that does help with that anyway. So the deck overall is just th a 3-3 three, three line of the Sunscorch V and the VMAX which has GMAX and Tiferno, which does 40 plus 40 more for each fire energy attached to it. So it does 120 if both of the energy requirements here are both fire. So you're usually doing 120 minimum um, and obviously that just keeps stacking and stacking due to the fact that its attack does also attach a fire energy from your discard to this Pokemon. Um, to help with acceleration to our main attacker, we have Volcanion, which has Flare Starter, so you can search your deck for um, three Fire NGs if you go second and attach them to your Pokemon any way you like. And primarily with Welder decks, which this is, and here is the second form of en energy acceleration, um, you always want to go second so you can play supporters, and this card allows you to attach two Fire Energy from your hand to one of your Pokemon and then draw three cards. The deck is pretty simplistic and is rounded out with some draw supporters in both Dedenne GX that discard your hand and draw 6 and Crobat V which allows you to draw up to 6 so you always have a decent amount of hand to be able to do some things with and we have the other two attackers in the deck which are Heatran GX which can move fire energies to it with its ability Burning Road when it becomes active move any number of fire energies from your other Pokemon to this one and the sorry the GX attack hot burn does 50 times the amount of fire energies attached to this Pokemon to potentially help you OKO a big Pokemon that you would not usually be able to KO with Sense Scorch VMAX. And we have a game finisher in regards to the Cromorant, which uh, has the attack spit shot, which discard all the energy from this Pokemon, allows you to hit for 160, which is exactly what you want to be doing to your opponent's Dedenes. Um so some additional attackers that help with the Desigoons matchup. This helps you take out the Decidueyes um, because the Decidueyes are immune to being attacked from GXs and V Pokemon. So this allows you to get through that and it also hits for weakness. So you'll be hitting usually 110 with its uh, the effect of the attack. And then on weakness you'll be hitting for 220. We have a... Eldegoss V in the deck just to recover usually welders but I only play two bosses in this deck so a lot of time it will be used to recover a boss and we have the Marshadow to get rid of my opponent's Chaotic Swells so that we can play our own Giant Halves into play without Chaotic Swells stopping them and allow us to search for our Fire Energies. Um, a couple of copies of Switch and a couple of copies of Air Balloon just to help with the mobility of the deck and to potentially get our Volcanion into the active on the first on our first turn, which will be the second turn of the game, to be able to commit to that Flare Starter. We have a Fire Crystal to allow us to recover some Fire Energies from the discard pile in attempt to again use Welder, and it also helps to prevent the energy denial parts of some decks. Um, other than that, the only other supports we run are two copies of Marnie just for some disruption and we play a single copy of Reset Stamp to further disrupt our opponents and then just these 12 consistency cards which are Quick Ball, Great Ball to search our Pokemon and Poke Gear. Uh, so that's all for the deck and I'll be right back with some gameplay. So we are back with our first game with our MC Hammers deck. Maximum sense, sense Scorch and Hammers. And judging by the coin, we may be against ADP, but we're not sure because my opponent's taking forever to flip the coin. Ah, uh, hurry up. <laughs> so if we lose the coin flip, see who my opponent chooses to take first. It's my turn. So going 
uh, going first is not optimal with this deck, but it's not the end of the world. If my opponent does play Denny, we may find ourselves with a quick two prizes. So. We'll play our Sid Scotch B down. We'll play our Marshadow down. And we will just attach to the active, I'm pretty sure. That's all we need. Because even if my opponent uh, Marnie's me and we don't find Fire Energy, then we won't be able to beat Catch, but now the energy is there. If my opponent Marnie's me, which we seem to be playing against a Welder deck, <laughs> who's unfortunately having to Welder to his Dedeno. And uh, that is a swift game one because these things can happen where um, the star of your deck will be Cramoran instead of Centre Scorch. So we will just welder here and see a quick concession from our opponent. So, um, yeah, these things happen. It's unfortunate, but these things happen. And we'll be back for game two. And we are back for a second game with our MC Havens deck. And for those of you who watch my videos and do uh, comment, comment on them or drop likes on them and things, uh, obviously certainly for people that watch them, here is one of our most recent codes. So I don't know if that's buffering as much as it should do. I hope it is. So I'll just keep that there for a second. It's a bit bright in here, unfortunately. Um, so potentially that's better. So there is a code for you guys for Vivid Voltage, our most recent set. We are against um, Mad Party, so our primary concern is to fight with Volcanians as much as possible, which considering my awful start is certainly what I'm going to have to do anyway. And we get Marnie, which is good, because we had uh, an absolutely tragic hand. And with any luck, after using Marnie, my opponent won't be able to get the additional four in the discard pile that he needs to be able to knock out the Volcanion. But all he needs is a quick ball. And it does see my opponent is dead drawing themselves, thankfully. So. I'm not going to bother with boss because Sinistee is much better to get rid of because it is an out to my opponent's drawing. I'm going to quick ball this away. And I will simply grab myself. I think I'm going to grab Crobat in this instance. Just because I don't want to give my opponent the ability to great catch it in the same turn that you play a draw supporter. Because that's where things start to go wrong. Although, it does start to go wrong when you don't find any draw supporters. So, I'll keep this to Danny for next turn. Now I'm going to be forced to Deadly Change. But, we do take out another Sinistee and get another knockout, which is good. My opponent researching, so we should definitely find the energy that he'd need now and the potential amount of Pokemon. He has four so far. Five with this uh, tea break that he's going to commit to. And we have not seen a Dedenne yet. That's not the dead end, then. <laughs> Let's see 
So my opponent only hits for 100. So it's all just downhill from here for my opponent, realistically. There's not really a lot he can do. Uh, we will poke gear, try and find ourselves a Marnie, which we do. Because all I would like is a giant half. Which we still don't find. So all things are well. Uh, we will simply attach here. And take yes another knockout with Volcanion. And really if you can do dominate this matchup with your one prizes that's all you need. See a quick ball for my opponent, uh, probably looking for, oh, a coughing, surprisingly. So if he has double coughing in hand, that's going to be quite frustrating. Uh, my opponent puts something back, uh, and he doesn't have double coughing, so that is very good for us. And he takes one prize. Um, I think now we have two fires in the discard, we will oh, I'll take two at least two hits. My opponent to be able to do anything with this. Um, so we will fire crystal. And we will grab back Welder. We will weld to Tahitran. So we've got another attacker. And we will attach to the active. About time. And GMX and Spinner. Now with the threat of the Cramorant that I have on the bench. My opponent cannot safely put down a Zidane at any point during this game. And we have both our bosses orders in the deck as well. So that means he safely can't put down a Crobat either. I don't think there's any way possible that the Mad Party deck can do uh, 300 damage. So my Sense Scorch V is pretty much safe. And unless this card in hand is a way to um, well, yeah, it, it doesn't matter either way. This this deck is uh, this game is so over. There is absolutely zero way that my opponent can take the necessary amount of prizes. Uh, we can even just uh, save the fire in hand as well. And that is game two to the MC Hammers deck. See you for game three. Uh, we are back for game three with our MC Hammers deck. And my opponent is choosing to go first, which is good for us. And whilst I am, uh, my opponent has also given us a mulligan as well, which is good for us. Um, I'm going to bench the camera at some point, so I'm not bothered if my opponent does more while me. And we see we're against Desigoons that I was talking about in the, um, at the start of the uh, deck explanation. see a Snorlax in the active. If only we could have hit a Welder there, we would have had game. Uh, but we do not. So, first things first. 
we will attempt to Jadene for as many cards as possible. Because the sooner we set up our board, the sooner we are in the clear. Um, I'll get rid of one of these. And I'll just get one in the turn. And if my opponent doesn't find a basic next turn, he is going to lose automatically. So we will flare, st flare starter for three. One, two, and three. And this means that I can weld it and take a knockout on this as well. Whereas all needs the additional energy and the sense switch remax with the switch that I already have in hand to take the knockout with this. So my opponent does find himself in the game, which is good. And again, for my viewers, we have a second code of vivid voltage coming right up. So pop that across the screen and Frank hopefully it doesn't keep doing that focus thing too much. Come on, stop doing the focus thing. There you go, and there is another code for my viewers. So, we do finally see a Pokemon battle for my opponent, and depending on what it is that my opponent puts in the active right now, it's a Zigzagoon, surprisingly. So, we are just going to be going with. Oh, he puts one of each down. And the Snorlax. Does he find energy attachment as well? No, he doesn't. So, I'm not threatened anytime soon. And. Potentially the worst out of these two is the Decidueye, just make it much more difficult. So I'm just going to play the boss's orders and take that thing out for 220 damage. Naughty. And we see a victory and that's exactly why I was talking about the Volcanion at the start of the video. Uh, so they're going to be the three games for this video and I'll be right back with the deck list. So, what did we learn from this video? Well, we learned that it has a multitude of variety of things that lead Sense Scorch VMAX to be so good. It has energy denial in the main attack, it has a attack on the VMAX that has no damage to ceiling because it's uh, an attack that just says plus and you can stack as many energies on it as you want. There is uh, a severe threat in regards to Heatron where if one of your Pokemon is damaged you can move energy off it so you're not losing too many resources in regards to your board state um, because board state is very important in this game the the stronger a board state you establish the and the more you can keep intact if your opponent's gonna take a boss knockout or something they've already damaged then you still have a strong board state because you've kept an X amount of energy in play and that's why the burning road from Heatran is good uh, we have the ability to wipe out Zdenes with Cremorant and Apparently we could have wiped out the Snorlax in the last game, but we just didn't see it. Oh well, we didn't see the Welder to uh, accomplish that. Um, we have Eldegoss to recover all of our supporters. And additional energy denial in Crush and Hammer. And I think that's everything for this deck. So if you enjoyed the deck, please give it a like. And please subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And we do also have one more code for our viewers. So I'm popping this on screen right now and I'm just trying to get it to, there we go, do the stop focusing thing. So there's the code for my viewers. Um, so hope that any of those codes that I've given out in this video do pull you something good. Again, if you, do, if you have liked the video, please drop a like on the video. It does really help and subscribe to the channel if you are new here. And we will see you again for the next video. See you soon guys, stay safe.